Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about Barnyard from 2006. And this was a winner of the Patreon movie review vote. If you would like for me to review a movie of your choice, then click on the link below and pledge, and maybe I'll be reviewing your movie next month. And this movie was chosen by Austin. I didn't ever watch the show Back to the Barnyard or ever see this movie before. It was just... I saw ads for it. I definitely saw ads for like this movie or the show when I'd watch SpongeBob and stuff, but like it really had no connection to me whatsoever, this show uh, or this property. I know people like it who grew up around that time. I'm older, so it just wasn't something I, you know, I have nothing against it. I just didn't see it until now. And basically, what I think this is is like a red state Norm of the North because everyone knows Norm is pretty woke. So Barnyard is uh, pretty. It's pretty bad. It's not good. Um, there's some good elements to it, and I think there's some interesting ideas within this that they could have expanded upon and made into like something actually pretty neat, but they like don't because I like, I don't know. But basically, this film is about Otis. Yes, Otis, who's a carefree party animal cow person, or just a cow, um, who is having lots of fun and goes to parties, and his dad, Ben, looks over the farm and makes sure everyone is sort of safe, and then Ben is killed by a bunch of coyote foxes, right? Okay, so it's coyotes, but that red one sort of looks like he'd be a fox. Are there red coyotes? I don't know enough to really dispute this, so maybe there are. But Ben is killed, and so then... And then Otis has to take charge and his kind of problems like taking on leadership and things like that. And that's basically the whole thing. Um, it, it kind of doesn't, that whole narrative doesn't work because they sort of want to be this fun, like frat house kind of comedy while also dealing with responsibility. And it feels like that's some, this film, like at some elements takes on things way too heavy for it that it just cannot really handle and is much better at having gags and things like that. I sort of wish Ben was just like on a trip or something like it just like him dying really just like gives this film like too heavy for a film where a cow drives a car and drives a motorcycle has a party and all this stuff like it's it just sort of like that that element just the whole core of it doesn't work at all and maybe in the show which i've never seen it works a little better because it's just like that has been done for a while you know maybe something like that but confronting death in this and like that doesn't entirely work i do like the idea of that you know that otis is adopted and there's like a whole like kind of like and uh thing uh with him adopting someone else and like i i like how open and progressive it is about that actually and i also like the have a cops section which kind of comes out of nowhere when they're driving the car and you find out the cops are filming cops and i thought like oh they could have done such a funny bit of like showing how awful humanity is like i was all for like the farm animals thinking humanity is the worst and like constantly showing like the ugliness of man in comparison to these farm animals who just want to party and chill all the time i think that would have been actually really cool and i and i thought the cops thing they could have just like taken that perspective and then uh like the scene like they're chasing them and they realize oh wait we're cows so we'll just pretend to be cows and they won't think it's us and they they totally could have like had it from the the cops perspective or something which i thought would have been a little more interesting but maybe that's a little too high concept for this movie it seriously does remind me of norm of the north because norm always has problems like being the king and things like that and instead of norm you get Otis, so that's cool. This is directed by Steve Odenkirk, um, which is spelled different than Bob Odenkirk, and I don't think they're related, but since their names are spelled, last names are spelled differently, he was uh, kind of a friend of Jim Carrey's. He directed the second Ace Ventura, uh, When Nature Calls. He was a writer on In Living Color. Um, he worked with Jim Carrey quite frequently. Um, and he also uh, he also directed Kung Pao, which is he was the star of, um, and was a producer on Jimmy Neutron, and basically owned O oh, Entertainment. He used his sort of connections with Jim Carrey, he made a lot of stuff um, to start that studio. And this is basically between Jimmy Neutron and Planet Sheen. And he seems interesting creatively because he makes like sort of like kind of what's considered like cult stuff, like Kung Pao, and then like he'll do these mainstream animated things, and he'll do like when nature calls and stuff. He also has the track effecta of this is the most like memes of people who watch my videos he was an executive producer on 
Juana Man. He um, came up with the story on Cowboys and Aliens, and this movie is voiced by Kevin James, so I think like that's a jackpot or something. I don't know. He's definitely interesting. I know he hasn't done anything in a while. I hope he saved a lot of his Jimmy Neutron money. I don't know, but he's kind of weird. It's interesting how little you get echoes of how of him doing kind of the weirder stuff but not entirely i don't think when nature calls maybe at the time i didn't like as much but maybe it's less transphobic or something so maybe it holds up better but and i don't remember kung pao being that funny but um he was kind of like a weirder kind of guy and you get sort of a sense of that but he doesn't feel like someone who wants to take on bigger stuff but i don't think is creatively able to for the most part as i think what made jimmy neutron great was maybe not him although he was nominated for an Oscar for producing it for Best Animated Feature. Um, but uh, he did have a different kind of vision for it. This is very like country country. And this movie has like so many weird elements like the the weird creature who they keep in a box. You never know what, what that's about and they never explain it, which feels like very much like an In Living Color kind of Jim Carrey sort of gag. Like, well, we just won't get into it. We'll be this random bit of nonsense. This did just feel like a very, you know, kind of like a country home animated film. And I was, I was like, while I was watching, I was like, waiting for you know otis to drive the the uh, motorcycle and he eventually does uh kevin james does an all right performance he seems to be good at doing that kind of like compelling lead in a family film i think he's better in paul blart frankly but he uh d does a decent job in this as well as everyone i thought the, i didn't notice a lot of the people like i did not know courtney cox was in this until i looked later um but i noticed wanda sykes and danny glover and sam elliott who sam elliott's just sam El sam elliott's great as that figure i like the tom petty song you can't back down and sam elliott singing that that's actually a good cover like i would listen to that it's a perfectly great cover sam elliott's very good at being the big father figure i think most people know him originally from the big lebowski but he's also i think does that very well in uh, a star is born where he was the father figure in that and then bradley cooper literally just ripped off his voice so it's interesting how um that big imposing male presence of Sam Elliott has led to, you know, in both Barnyard and The New Star is Born and The Big Lebowski, everyone has to live up to Sam Elliott. So, which is true of like all of humanity, really. Danny Glover was good at being, you know, Danny Glover. You know, everyone kind of just, they kind of cast them appropriately in the characters and stuff like that. It, it just plays like a basic kind of kids film. I, I don't find anything really special about it. I think it's maybe like a better version of Norman the North because when they have these kind of sequences, you can like the when the cows just decide to take over a car and basically like, so a kid cow tips a cow who has no personality for some reason. And even though it's nighttime is doing the cow stance, even though they acknowledge that no cows do that. But in this, I guess they do. So um, these kids cow tip a cow, which is that, a, is cow tipping real? like I've always heard like that's like a rumor and then some people tell me it's not a rumor I don't know I never grew up in the south or in a country situation so I I to me it could be either way I sort of I, I never researched it but when they go and try to tip the boy over I thought that was kind of a funny interesting sequence um but it, they'll get into these sequences like let's have a party let's have this let's have that it's almost like they're sort of hiding the plot because they know this plot stinks because they can't really this film is not capable of handling those things so I I, I did like how smart it was about understanding itself in its ineptitude uh which which was which is pretty cool you know it it got what it was and tried to lean into it um I don't I don't really get the barnyard thing I don't get the back to the barnyard thing I get Jimmy Neutron that was fun um this doesn't really have the imagination of Jimmy Neutron and um I get sort of why O Entertainment couldn't sort of break out of just Jimmy Neutron after that and become this bigger studio and so forth mostly because Steve Odenkirk has some interesting ideas like they're definitely like different but um they're not ideas like I want to see more than once like I had fine enough watching this like I had fine enough watching Kung Pao um I don't know if that age as well I have a suspicion it doesn't but I haven't seen it in a while so we'll just you know leave that one up to debate in the comments but it's an interesting kind of like sitcom-y idea and I wonder if this was made in the Wonder Park idea where it's like we'll launch the movie or Clone Wars as well I guess we'll launch the movie and then have the show I don't think that's what happened here but it seems like an amazing pilot in, in a certain sense, but um, it more shows off what works about everyone else on the farm and less of the Otis existential dilemma or whatever the fuck. Like that, that to me is not what this film is capable of. I think it would have been better if he was just, you know, it took out the heaviness 
you know, as much as Sam Elliott brings it, but this movie just isn't really ready to deal with that and in an appropriate way. Um, I did, I did like how it handles adoption. I thought that was actually rather excellent. It just accepts it in such a wonderful way, which I think is actually like really cool. Um, not enough kid media gets into blended families and things like that. So I, I appreciate that about Barnyard. In a way, its animation is as good as Norman the North would be however many years later. So, so at the time was, was that was appropriate. Um, but I, I, I do think it is just the red state north of the north where i'm like i don't really get the appeal of this i don't understand i guess everyone was kids when this came out so they have a certain thing to it but i don't think it's like you know like a notable thing or a funny thing or anything like that it just to me is like kind of like okay it had some interesting ideas i wish someone maybe who knew what they were doing would better at directing this or you know it made me think like hey isn't Shaun of the sheep a million times better than this and gets how you can have fun with that concept and this just like really doesn't fully get into it it has to kind of dart around and weave and duck and things to like sort of get this to work is it good at doing that sure it's not really being about a storyteller it's about a cow having a good time if you come into this for a cow having a good time i guess you're fine at that and you can go back to the barnyard anytime you want but for the rest of it i think i'll exit stage left and just remember about norm so if you have seen barnyard and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to and this was a winner of the Patreon movie review vote. If you would like for me to review a movie of your choice, then click on the link below and pledge, and maybe I'll be reviewing your movie next month. Thank you very much for watching.